everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jennifer. Today is gonna be a kind of brief video. We're gonna go through the new Gucci liners that I picked up. So the lip liners and the eyeliners, and I'm gonna do lots of comparisons to ones that I already have. So if you're interested in seeing that, just stay tuned. Hey everybody, today is a pretty casual day. I have spent like a day, like an entire day, trying to put together my new makeup table. I'm not gonna go into it. I have a strong urge to buy myself a pizza <laughs> and eat my feelings, but that's okay. Uh, instead, <laughs> I'm gonna be here and we're gonna go through some of the new products I picked up. Now, I do have a haul coming. It's a very big haul. This was part of that haul, but I haven't gotten all the boxes in, but I did wanna pull out a few things that are relatively new so you guys can take a look at them. So what we're gonna do today are the Gucci liners. So the lip liners and the eyeliners. I picked up three in each. I believe there's six in each. I'm not absolutely sure. So first of all, this is what the product looks like. It's in their pink packaging. You can see the, I have it upside down, but you get the point. <laughs> it says Gucci on the side. There we go. It's all the details. The color is here on the band on the end. And so each one uh, has a number and then the color that goes with it. So I as I said, I picked up three of them. I picked up a blue, a purple, and a brown. I'll give you the details of the names in just a second. And then the liners look a little different. They're not in the pink packaging. They're in this like cream colored packaging, which I'm trying to think, I don't think I've seen that before. Um, everything else I have from Gucci I think is pink. I don't have the Gucci foundation. Well, I have the Gucci foundation, but I'm not wearing it because I hate it. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I have the original. When I say that is, I, I, I have been told by many people that it was reformulated, but I've never gotten any confirmation of that, so I can't actually be sure. But I will say this. I've noticed the people that got it early on, like I did, there's more mixed reviews and people who bought it later from like Sephora seem to really like it. That seems odd to me. So, I mean, maybe it's just coincidence, but I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they changed the formula. So anyway, uh, I haven't seen that cream colored. I, I don't remember that cream colored um, packaging. So the shades I have in the lip are Tendre, Nude, and Miel, me, M-I-E-L. I'm sure I'm pronouncing it wrong. Meal. Um, and then the um, eyeliners are Amethyst. We've got Anthracite. It's taking me a second because I'm refused to put my glasses on. And what is this one? The way they do this is like the, the it's, ugh, I won't even go into it. It's not necessarily my eyesight although I'm sure that has something to do with it, but really it's because there's this gold lettering on pink and I have bright lights on me, so I'm like, I can't see anything. Uh, chocolate. Okay, so I wanna make sure I had the names right for you guys. So what I'm gonna do is, I, I have very little makeup on today. Um, like I said, it's just been one of those days. Mm -mm. Uh, I have on the Clodopo The Foundation, which is the foundation that I wear when my skin is very dry. Uh, I really like this foundation and I'm gonna try to wear it more often because one, I really like it, um, and I should wear it more often, and two, it's very expensive, and I'm just letting it sit in a jar, which is crazy. Uh, it is very moisturizing, so um, if you are somebody who has very oily skin, I would not in any, any way recommend it. If you have normal skin, I'd say maybe if you like a dewy look, but I really think it's for drier skin. That's my personal opinion but it's very moisturizing, it's very thick. If you've seen me use it in videos, it's it's like a La Mer cream almost. So just, you know, be aware of that. Um, and then I am on the Tower 28 blush. I'm, I have it on in Magic Hour. I decided to pull it out because I, I know there's new shades on Sephora. You wanna take a look at it. I really like the Tower 28. I think it looks great. Uh, I do wanna pick up more sh shades, but again, <laughs> I have so much stuff. Um, when I do my Sephora, I think I might be doing a live shop Sephora with me, if you guys are interested in that, uh, right before the sale, before the spring sale. So let me know, um, and maybe I'll pick up some more shades. And then I am wearing the Lavender Powder by, uh, by Dior. Guys, I have to say, 
Yeah, I really like it. <laughs> I really like it. Um, I'm not sure why yet though, because like, I've only worn it a couple of times, um, and I'm not sure if it's the shade. I'm not sure if it's the shade, and maybe any lavender powder would work. I don't know, but I actually think it it brightens my skin, uh, and it isn't falling into lines. The thing I would tell you though is I don't have a lot of texture in my skin. I have texture. I have normal texture for a human being, but I don't have texture in the way that a lot of people refer to it, as in acne scars or, um, you know, pock marks or um, uh, large pores. I don't have any of those things. I have the opposite problem. My skin is so dry that it cracks kind of thing. So powder, for me, my concern is that it goes into lines and stuff. This does not do that. But in regards to how it works on texture, whether it brings out texture, I can't really say. So. Um, I know a couple other folks are trying it out and once they have reviews, I'll certainly link to those as well. I try to always do that. I try to share other content creators with you guys. You should be watching numerous different people to get different perspectives and opinions because we're all a little different and you know what works for me might not work for you. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and go in with the Gucci Amethyst first. As I said, it's a pencil, <laughs> it looks like that. Um, I didn't see a um, uh, a separate sharpener, but at the bottom of the Gucci is a tiny little sharpener. This is what Chanel has in the Chanel waterproof liners. The bottom is a sharpener. So that's how they've chosen to do these. Sharpener looks a little bit like a Chanel. Not a lot, but a little. And it can go up and down. I was just checking before I did it. Yep, it goes up and down. All right, so let's do, let's do the perp, the amethyst first. I want to make sure I'm putting in a space that you guys can see. That is the amethyst shade. It's very pretty. It's very purple. Um, and I know you guys are gonna be like, "Well, Jen, it's amethyst. What did you think it was gonna be?" But uh, sometimes. Purple cannot be purple. So let me explain what I mean by that. So I'm going to pull out a couple of shades here. Um, let's do the Chanel Purple Chalk next to it. I am going to wear one of the liners today. I, that's why I don't have makeup on my eyes right now. But I wanted to we'll pick one. So that's Purple Chalk by Chanel. You can see that has much more of a, a gray purple kind of shade. And then we have... Got one or two purples. I don't have that many purples. Um, Amethyst by Chantikai. You can see that's definitely more of like a darker. This one almost has it's like plum to it. Then we have Violet Damask, also by Chantikai. And again, a even deeper violet shade. And then the last purple I have is Deep Amethyst by Wayne Goss. You can see they're all slightly different. So first you have the Gucci, this is the Amethyst, then you have Purple Chalk, then you have the Amethyst in Chantikai, Violet Damask in Chantikai, and then the Amethyst in Wayne Goss. So you can see these are all Amethyst shades, but very different. The formula seems a little less um, opaque than the others, but I'm gonna have to use it on the eye before I can really tell. But I wanted to see a comparison of shades because I know it's so hard to pick. Like, you know, when you're, when you're online picking out eyeliner, it says amethyst, you're like, I don't know what that means. Um, okay, so then let's go to the anthracite, which I think is gonna be a gray, bluish gray. Yeah, it is. That's very pretty. That's the anthracite. I think Slate by Chantikai is a good comparison. That's Slate. Metallic Mink in Tom Ford. I don't have the new um, it's Metallic Mink. I, it has more of a purple. It actually looks more like this than the, the gray. I don't have the new Ash by Victoria Beckham. 
that would probably be close. Just seeing what else I have in the gray. That's interesting. I actually don't think I have that much gray. Huh. Maybe because gray isn't a color that's done as much. I think those are the gray ones, to be honest. So now I really have to pick up Ash by Victoria Beckham because I feel like I don't have enough gray liners. So again, here's the Athro Athrocyte. This is the um, Slate by Chantecai. And here's Metallic Moss by um, Tom Ford, which is discontinued, by the way, anyway. Um, and one color I forgot to include in the purples was Psyche by, or Psyche, depending on how you want to call it, um, by Chanel. That's the shade right there. You can see the Psyche has more of a, like a purpley red. It's not as, as purple. I'm just drawing a line <laughs> so you can see. These are the purples. Here are the grayish blues. I have some blues that I think, you know, you might say would be closer to this, but honestly, this is a very interesting color. It's like, the, if you can't, I don't know how well you can see it, but it's a blue gray. It's very pretty. And I apparently don't have anything like it. Slate's probably the closest, which is interesting. Okay, then let's go to chocolate. Now I have a lot of browns, but each brown, like each blue or each, you know, is different. That's chocolate. It's a very dark brown. You can see how dark it is. Um, so let's see, what do I have to compare that to? Let's do Espresso by Chanel. Similar, Chanel's a little, Espresso's a little warmer and a little lighter actually. Um, let's try Jasper from Chantecaille. Chantecaille is a little warmer and a little lighter than that. Let's try Black Wood by Chanel. Uh, Blackwood is similar. It's cooler than chocolate. Victoria Beckham in Cocoa. Very similar to cocoa. Very similar to cocoa. Victoria Beckham one is much softer though. I like the Victoria Beckham ones. Like they are actually some of my favorites, but they're ex just incredibly soft, just to be aware. I feel like I have more browns, but I'm just, I don't wanna pull every single shade I have out, but I think those are like the most like ones. Um, Let's do the Charlotte Tilbury Classic Brown. Similar. So the browns are more similar, like this is the chocolate. Then I'd say the most outstanding say, the most outstanding shade is this anthracite. I think that's a really interesting blue gray. And this amethyst is a really pretty color. It's not like the other purples I have. It's definitely um, like a more, almost leaning towards lavender. I think, Let's go with the anthracite because I just thought that was really interesting. Let's try it out, see how it looks. Goes on smoothly, no pulling. Yeah, it definitely has more of a blue shade on the eye. It almost looks, this is gonna sound weird, but like the color that comes to mind, title blue. Uh, and when I say title, I mean as in a title wave, not title as in a book. It has this, blue cast to it. Although it's gray, it's like, it's bluish. It's really pretty. Huh, I put a little under the, okay. Let me see how well it smudges. Let's take, let's take, let's take the um, pencil one brush by Sonia G. Let's just see how it smudges. Oh, really well. Okay, that's really nice. I'll let you know how it wears, but at the moment, it's good. All right, let me um, curl my lashes, put a little mascara on, and then we'll move to lips. I know we're not actually doing a full look today or anything, but I have some Gucci mascara, so we might as well use it. I've, at, I've been asked like a number of times about the Gucci mascara, and it's actually good mascara. 
I think if you're looking for a lengthening mascara or separating mascara, it's really very good. My problem with it, and you'll notice while I'm doing this, I have to go really slowly because it's a very prickly brush. It's very sharp and I feel like I have poked my eyeball with it I don't know how many times. So for me, it's not something I pull out very often um, because I that's just not, you know, it's not the way I like to apply mascara. I usually go very quickly and I admit, I don't spend a tremendous amount of time on my mascara. I have relatively long lashes and I've been lazy about it. <laughs> Now, when I do it for you guys, you know, I'll, I'll put on more than I normally do and I'll spend more time on it. But like on a day to day basis, it's not where I spend most of my time. Um, you know, I get it. <laughs> That's probably not fair. Uh, but I'm sure you guys out there, I'm sure some of you have, you know, something that I don't have that I spend more time on. That's the thing, right? We all have our strengths and weaknesses. And I, uh, I, I feel like where I can save time, I will. And where I can save time is on my mascara as long as I have like a fluffy brush. Cause then I'll just go in super quick. My lashes are long, so I don't have to like really, you know, spend time building it up. I put on a coat or two. I kind of just go whoosh, whoosh, and then I'm out the door. And with this brush, I have to be very deliberate. Now, is the look that it gives nice when I am deliberate? Yes. <laughs> so again, I'm not saying it's bad mascara. I just have to be very careful with it because I can't seem not to poke myself. I don't know what it's about. Like, I don't know why. I don't know if it's because my lashes are long and so it makes it, I don't know. I mean, obviously it's user error, that part I got, but I can do other things. So I don't know why I can't do that. Okay, so mascara's on, liner's on. I really think this liner is beautiful. I love the shade. It's really a unique shade, like I said a million times now. Um, it's a bluish gray. Um, it's really pretty. It's really, really nice. Uh, all right, so let me wipe this off my arm and we'll do the lips. I could do the liners here, but I feel like I'm not as good with my left hand and I wanna give you good swatches. So I'll be right back. Okay, let's move to the lip liners. So we have Miel, M-I-E-L. This has an orange cast to it, which I think is really pretty and really unique. And I can tell you right now, I don't have anything like that. <laughs> I, I know I don't. Uh, next is Nude. I have a couple of friends who also picked up these liners. I can't wait to see which ones they got and which one is their favorite. Uh, next is Tendre. So I'll say a couple things about the way they feel on my skin so far. They feel more like classic lip pencils. Um, a little bit drier. More like the MAC lip pencils. Nude is my favorite, not a shock. This is really cool though. I really like this one. Uh, I don't have anything like it. And this is like a rosy pink, like almost rosewood. And so what I thought I would do is I would compare it to some of my favorite liners so you guys could see. I did an entire video on every lip liner I have. I will link it above if you wanna see every shade. Um, but I don't think you guys want me to do that today. All right, so first is Nude Brune. This is Chanel. This I wear more than any other. Probably, you guys have to tell me, but I probably do wear that one more than any other. The Chanel's are my favorites. Then Beige Natural. Well, maybe the Sisley's are my favorite. I don't know, it's hard. Beige Natural, definitely a beige cooler shade. Chocolate by Sisley. I love the Sisley formula, I have to say. I picked up some more Sicily in my haul. That's chocolate. Then Sicily in 
beige natural. Yeah, the shades are very different so far from like what I own. Uh, Vive in Bark. This is a more like brown, true brown kind of shade. I do like the Vive liners though, guys. Like really, I really like them. Uh, Victoria Beckham in shade two. The Wayne Goss in sepia. The Chantecaille in Tone, which I think is just a great shade. The uh, Charlotte Tilbury in Iconic Nude. And then I'm gonna throw in one that I thought might be a little like the meal. This is my um, Giorgio Armani and I, <laughs> have been trying to figure out what the shade is, like the name, and I haven't been able to find it. I've had it forever. It just says two on it. So I guess it's just shade two. I thought it had a name, but maybe not. No, it's not, I mean, it's similar, but no. All right, so those are like some of my liners that I wear all the time. And you can see that actually the three shades I picked up they're really, I mean, they're not that similar to any of these. Um, this is like the rosewood shade. Um, maybe kind of this one is the Sicily Beige Natural. Let's take a look. Yeah. That's the Beige Natural. It's a little bit, but not really. I mean, this is definitely more rose. Yeah, I don't really have any shades like the three I picked up. That's kind of nice. <laughs> Considering all, I mean, I'm, I'm sure there's more shades in here that I've missed, that there's something that's similar. If you look at my full liner or video, you'll probably find them. But, all right, so for the purposes of today, and if you're looking at the Gucci liners, the first one is Meal, the second one is Nude, and the last one is Tendra. So, Meal is this really pumpkin orange. Nude is a true... Uh, uh, beige, beigey nude, and Tendra is like a rosewood color. Huh. All right. Um. Well, I don't think the orange is gonna the meal will work today because I put the blue gray on my eyes. Let's use the Tendra because it has more of that pink. Um. Well, let's see how it looks on the lips and how it feels. Oh, smoother than I thought it would be. Actually, that goes on pretty smoothly. Oh, it's really a pretty shade. Um, it's, I mean, it's definitely rosewood. I don't have too many shades like that. It's pink, but it's not, it's not overwhelmingly pink, you know what I mean? It's. It's a good neutral, um, it's rosewood. <laughs> I don't know that other way to explain it. Uh, yeah, it's, it's really nice though, actually. And it feels good so far. I'm gonna wanna wear it around. Obviously I'm gonna give you updates and I'm gonna do wear tests and let you know how long the liner lasts, how long the lips last. But I wanted to give you, an, uh, you know, some shade comparisons. There are, they are available on Bergdorf's Nordstrom. Maybe support as well. When I put the links down below, I'll put options for you guys. I really love the ath and I, why do I keep messing up the pronunciation of it? Because my brain is gone. Um, anthracite. I really like the anthracite, but it's like a bluish gray. I think it's really pretty. And I actually, I'm gonna try it out soon where I put it all over the lid and see if I can do it as like a shadow. It's really a, a gorgeous color. Uh, the chocolate is a very dark brown. I showed you the comparisons with that. And the amethyst is interesting because it's all, it's a true purple. It doesn't really have a gray or black or a violet. It's like purple, uh, which is not something I have. So, you know, these are all good shades. I will probably pick them all up at the end. I've, I really do like the Gucci lines. 
The only thing from Gucci that has really disappointed me is the foundation. Everything else has been great, really, really great. Even the mascara is great. It's just, I don't particularly love the brush. But again, that's personal, you know, anyway. Um, the products are good. So I just wanted to give you some shade comparisons in case you're interested in buying them, picking them up. I have no idea, these are new to the market, so I have no idea, you know, if shades are gonna sell out or, I don't think they will. <laughs> I don't think, I think these are permanent. Um, so, you know, take your time, figure out what shades you want. But if you were interested in picking some up, I thought this might be helpful. So that's it for today, guys. Um, I have the Chanel giveaway. This is gonna go up Tuesday. The Chanel giveaway should go up, video should go up Thursday. Uh, I just closed out the, the uh, Chantecai. There is going to be a Tom Ford giveaway on a product that you can't get here in the United States. It's gonna be on Instagram. So make sure you're following me over there if you're interested in that giveaway. I did some teases on Instagram about what it is. I will mention it in my video uh, that I do probably next week. But again, you have to be following me on Instagram for that particular one. I think that's it, guys. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I really do appreciate it. Hope to see you in another video really soon.